My name is Liam Dorn and I'm following Ireland to Euro 2012. I come from Collection there, um, just outside Carlow Town on the Leash border. This was called always a long-term project of ours, was to build our own camper van and the, the, the idea then was basically, once we had it kind of half finished, next minute the Euros was kind of coming to an end and one of our lads said we should go and next one we said we should go on the camper van, it'd be some crack. And cheap of course as well. Well at the moment we started, once we kind of got a bit excited, we sort of said that we put the word out and we had about 10 or 12 but lads and girlfriends and getting married and kids come along, it's, it's, it's at a definite age at the moment. What we've done is we had a, a, a chassis and a body of a transit van, a 97 transit. And it was just a chassis that had a body, a kind of a A-frame body on the back of it. So we basically had a caravan. We bought a caravan for 500 euros. And the caravan was a little bit longer, so we extended out the chassis and we fitted the caravan onto the front of it and joined it up into the, into the transit van. So we thought it was a simple idea of just moving the caravan onto it and you had everything, all amenities on it. But... You know, these things are a bit harder <laughs> than they seem for seem. So it's been a long road to get it, even to this point, and a lot of work has gone into her now. So. The water heater now, we're after installing this, the, the, the old heater was sort of really wrecked, and we have our um, all our pipes and stuff gone inside of it there, and we now have, luckily enough, we have running water. It's probably not working right now. Um, the oven wasn't working when we first, when we first uh, got it. But we've since one of our friends happens to be an electrician and he's after doing all the electrical work on it. We put in the in the fridge indoor as well. We got a we got a fridge and I suppose the fridge we bought second hand, we got that off done deal for fifty quid, so it wasn't too bad. And that's all continued down into our little um our little power supply is a big uh battery for a truck. We again we, we fitted a heater, there was one thing that the caravan was lacking, or the the camber as it is now, but when we got the caravan it had no heater in it. This area here, we're trying to turn it into a bit of a bedroom area at night, so we're kind of hoping that we can sort of come up with something that can just slide in the centre and that we can put a mattress or a pull-out mattress or some sort of concept here that we could fit maybe three more lads can sleep here. Put a toilet in it and we're after tiling, put in a new toilet system. We need to set up for more, for more bodies to sleep and uh, we need to get more mattresses and we need to finish off the toilet and actually put a toilet in it and a, and a shower and uh, we're kind of thinking of putting a canopy out that way so in the hot summers day in Poland that we are we're actually able to get a bit of shade when we're having a few pints and, and then a fry. <laughs> taken her out a few times yeah we've taken her not too far or anything like that uh, we haven't taken her too far Poland is a good spin away but uh, we floated around Ireland we went down to Wexford there not too long ago when we were uh, we were selling balloons and a few yolks with it and it's handy that way to go around um, we haven't really took it on a real long journey yet, but you know we're we're hoping that she'll she'll make it over and back no problem. We've done a good bit of work to the engine on it as well. Me coming from a mechanical background, I've uh, I spent a good bit of a good bit of time just reconditioning the engine and trying to make sure that we can we don't get little silly problems when we're over. But I suppose my place is booked because I'm the mechanic, and so if anything goes wrong, I'm there to to sort it out. You know. Just another thing that we had to improve in the, on the camper van was for the safety aspect of it. It's so because it's so old and so easy to break into one of these, we ended up putting on a dead man switch on it. So basically, we just have a key here that you have to you have to kind of twist just to turn on to have any power whatsoever. And it's sort of in an unusual shape, and it's sort of something I just had to fit, just for the safety aspect of it. The trip is starting off on the fifth of June, and we're getting we're going down to Ross Lair, the whole lot of us, and we're heading then to uh, heading then to somewhere in or somewhere in France. Not too sure the name of the place. But we're heading, uh, we're heading, we're getting a ferry direct to France, and then from France we're driving into Germany, just slightly across and into Gdansk, and that's where I think we're going to set up shop. I'm just going to literally Google it and find a caravan site and just throw her into it, and that'll be that, like you know, fill her full of green diesel and fill her full of beer and that sort of it, and on we go, sort of a thing. We've no tickets yet. We sort of said that we'd, uh, we'd sort of get over there and set up camp, and then we'll go looking for tickets. It's usually handy enough. We'll be sure that there'll be there'll be a lot of tickets, you know lads selling tickets on the street so we're not too worried about it we reckon we'll get tickets over there handy enough if Ireland even could even get even past the group stages and into some a quarter final it will give the country some boost it, it would be massive we have decided that if this if 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 they get through we have to stay despite girlfriends and wives and lads getting in trouble we'd have no choice but to but to stay and support them to the end our concept of going over in this sort of 1997 bit 
built camper van, I suppose, this is a bit of an unusual way to go. The main thing is to go over and to support and, and, and enjoy yourselves and, and just really have a great time.